Hey everyone, so today you're gonna to be learning how to take excellent photos outside in natural light and also how to pose for the pictures as well. So these are the top tips that you'll be learning within this video. For instance, you'll be learning how to style for the photo shoot, the outfits that you should wear during this photo shoot, the location scouting, the posing, as well as the lighting that Nicole would talk about as a photographer and also the angles too on how to take the pictures and how to pose with it as well. Tracy here. I'm Nicole. <laughs> so today we have a photo shoot at the beautiful Arboretum and our styling right now is more like an old British cottagey cottage kind field. of feel to it. And what is your goal for this shoot? My goal <laughs> is just to come out with not having created anything in a while because of quarantine. So just to play around with a new lens, um, different styling techniques, different shooting techniques, and just yeah. kind of see what we get. Our lighting situation today, it's pretty overcast, which is nice, especially because we're shooting at two o'clock in the afternoon, which is not an ideal time to shoot at. <laughs> um, normally at this time, you'd have like a really harsh light and you get really like deep shadows underneath the eyes, which is not very flattering. The model ends up, look, ends up looking like a panda, is usually what we call it. Um, but because there's some clouds, the light's getting so like a little softer diffused around her face. So the shadows that are coming off her hat aren't as, it's still kind of harsh, but not as harsh as it normally would. So I have this reflector coming in. The reflector is more to bring back more light into where the shadows are hitting and bouncing the light just like a little more up like this. The reflector just kind of helps bringing more light in, which on like not the best time shooting at this time at two o'clock, it's nice to have a little more light bounce back up because her face usually will be like super hard in shadows. You see how there's like a nice shadow going right underneath her eye, kind of like right there where when she tilts her head up, yep, exactly the shadow goes away. Or if I bring the reflector and put your head back down, if I bring the reflector back in, then it also shows away because it fills in those shadows. If I'm doing a more fantasy look, I tend to go for the gold reflector because it adds a little more warmth to the light. Uh, for fashion, I either like doing a silver or just the white, but silver will bounce in a little more of a shine, which I think looks really great for fashion shots. Um, for just normal headshots, um, or any other time where I just want to fill in the light, I'll usually do like a white reflector and switch it over to like that one, um, just to get a little softer bounce back in instead of like the silver where it's a little harder bounce. The scrim, uh, I use a scrim when we ate, actually kind of like in a situation like this where if the sun, we weren't having as many clouds and the sun was super, super bright, we'd have a scrim going over her. Here, I can take it out. So if I were to bring this up and kind of put it right over her head, she becomes as if she were standing in the shade versus with the harsh shadows of being right in the sun. So, um, but usually, and that's only for like locations where you don't have shade, but usually I try to prefer just like shoot in the shade if I can, because I'm usually by myself and I can't do both. <laughs> So the biggest advice I'll give you for outfits, planning in regards to the style of your photo shoot is to really know and incorporate your color palette outfits with your location. For instance, if we're outdoor in the Arboretum with a lot of natural light, there's a lot of greens, there's some bushes with some flowers in it. I made sure to choose color palettes that had either like a bright orange with some, mix it with some neutral colors as well. Like for instance, my first outfit, I mixed the orange top with a neutral pants that are khaki tan pants, along with a bright blue sweater to give it a more of that old English, um, Parisian type of styling to it, including a black, simple neutral color hat. And what I'm shooting at, I have my Sigma 17 to 50 lens on, which I haven't shot with in years. Uh, so I'm excited to try that. And I'm shooting at ISO 125 shutter speed 200 and f4.5 for my aperture. And because it's a pretty wide angle, I actually have to get in pretty close. And it's gonna distort her face quite a bit, but I think it'll look pretty cool. This and this be the edge of the frame. So having you right in the center, maybe probably standing around here because it's still a pretty wide angle. Okay. So you want me to face this way or this way? This way for the sun. Okay. Go ahead and 
and tilt your head up a little bit more. That's another trick for harsher lighting is to get more light on the face. So having your tilt your head up, perfect. So I see a little bit of light coming in on the eyes. Nice. Cool. That's great. Can I get you, okay. Can I get you to have the jacket, just take, take it off and like put it over your shoulder? On the side? Mm-hmm. And let's just do some like, slight little like moving ones. Yeah. Like this? Yeah. Perfect. And then keep your head up. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Ready and go. Go ahead and just keep moving. Yeah. Nice. Cool. And look up. Yeah. And then turn more towards into this reflector. Nice. You can stand up straight, but then just slightly like kind of like lean back. Yeah. Well, maybe. No, face back towards the sunshine. Yeah. How high? I can see your face. Maybe tilt the hat back just a tiny bit. Yeah. And then kind of lean into it this way, maybe. And then maybe. Bring that other hand in a little bit more. Yeah, perfect. My posing for the first outfit was a lot more harsher, high fashion look where I was doing my facial expressions a lot more like serious, a lot more like confident and sexy with adding movement to the poses as well due to um, that high fashion look. Ready and just kind of keep moving and do stuff. Yeah, cool. Nice. Love it. Awesome. Yes. Ooh, that's cool. Nice. Keep your head up while you're doing that. Just to get more, yeah, perfect. Nice. Cool. Nice, and look up again. Nice. One more time. Nice. Do it again. Nice, ready and go. Cool. Oh, oh you're good, go. Nice. That's cool. So I'm cutting it in pretty close. These are just primarily portraits. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Cool. Oh, I like that. Nice. Beautiful. You're making it look like it's really cold outside, but it's really not. I'm sweating like crazy. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, those are gorgeous. Oh, I love those. Oh, I love it. Nice. And see now the sun is in our favor and your face looks gorgeous. Yeah, that's cool. Nice. Nice. Cool. Maybe I can cover one eye. Yeah, go for it. Gorgeous. Nice. Love it. That's cool. Look up towards the lake or the water. Cool. All right. I think I'm good with this spot. That was it. That was our yeah. shoot. We always love shooting together. So mm -hmm. yes, we always get some great shots together. <laughs> And so thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe below and let us know what other topics you want us to talk about. And please, please, please follow Nicole on her social media. What's your social media, Nicole? My Instagram is <laughs> nsleppy.photo. Awesome. And thank you so much again. Cool. Bye. Bye.